last year I had a student that was just like behavior wise tearing up the classroom and tearing and even at home and things like that and once he started coming to school I think after like a week or so parents like sat like pulled me aside after class and they were like can we talk to you and I was just like yeah sure like um, and I, I, I thought nothing of it and um, they actually pulled me aside to thank me they were just like I just want to say like thank you so much for like all the patience you have for them like I see how much they enjoy coming to class I mean coming to school like I just want to thank you just because we struggle with that at home and it's it's just I think 90% of my parents tell me that and on a regular basis so like it's just a constant reminder for me that like I know that what I'm doing is, is right. Special education teachers are definitely in high demand and we've seen a steady increase of students with disabilities and of course our special education teachers play a crucial role in um, providing an equitable education for our students. You know I believe there's a lot of career growth and job prospect in the field. Um, it's definitely a critical area of need in education right now. Um, it's both challenging and rewarding but for me I think being able to make a positive impact for kids, for our staff, in our community, um, and just to be able to be passionate about what you do and have such a fulfilling and impactful career um, is everything. There's a lot of reward in the job. It is a challenging job, but the, helping the students find their strengths and believe in themselves and build their confidence and see what they're capable of and not letting limitations get in the way of their learning, not letting them use excuses for you know, challenges that they may experience. I think I was first inspired by my mom, who's a retired teacher. Um, she taught ESL, and I used to see um, her teaching some of her community college students and just seeing the connection she had with them and how she inspired them. So I have wanted to be a teacher since I can remember, probably since I was in elementary school. Uh, when I was in elementary school, I had a little cousin get be born with Down syndrome. So that's what really got me into special ed. The kids are the best part, uh, watching them progress and grow and just become tiny little humans is just the best feeling. Seeing their smiling faces every day, watching them call you, watching them every single day in the classroom is just so rewarding. Um, I don't think that there's one type of person, um, you know, that will be able to succeed necessarily. I think we all have strengths and I think all of our strengths can be built into that. Um, but what I notice here, the most successful people on our team um, are flexible. They're able to adapt to any situation. The needs of our students and our community are changing at all times. Um, of course, patience and empathy. Um, but I do believe that um, you know all of those things can be taught and developed over time. But I think the most important thing for me is just the unwavering belief that our kids can succeed and that they will be successful. If you have that, the other things can come. I think, I mean, any teaching position is admirable. Um, it's, it's not an easy profession, but getting to work with kids in the smaller group setting, you know, the ins and outs of each student, getting to know, um, you know, their strengths and what gets each child to learn and to um, grow. I think there's, there's just something special about that, that um, you don't necessarily get the opportunity to do when you're in a larger classroom setting. I think if you have the heart for it, if you have the willingness of actually showing up every day for these kids and like even when you're having like a hard time yourself, like being able to make sure you don't let that affect the kids when you're in the classroom. Just leaving everything else, everything personal aside and just working with the kids and remembering why you're here every day as well will help. SDSU has an amazing program. I think it's prepared me beautifully to become the teacher that I am now. Um, of course, being inside the classroom is a great experience, but being able to learn from all the great professors that SDSU has, has been just amazing. I've been really impressed with not just the preparation that our San Diego State candidates come in with, um, but the continued support after. I know when I hire a San Diego State candidate that they're going to be supported, that they have access to a community, access to resources. If, if I didn't attend SDSU, I don't think I'd be a, a good teacher in general. Like, they have supported me so much throughout whenever I need something. They, it's not just like while you're here, like while you're completing this credential, like we're gonna support you. And then once you're done with this credential, like you are on your own. Like no, they don't let you, they don't let you go that easily. They will always check up on you. They always like, if you need anything, like they, they will help you with what they can. It's not 
support that just ends when they start working here. So I definitely um, look favorably upon San Diego State candidates. To see, and I get to see it firsthand every day, to see the smile on kids' faces, parents' faces, when um, they thought maybe their child couldn't or wouldn't be able to learn, and then they do through the hard work of their education specialist um, and their classroom teacher is so rewarding. You know, I just think it is invaluable when you're that teacher to make a difference in their lives.